Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Heroes of Might and Magic 3. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it's just to join me today as we take Tralia. Uh, so Tralia is not our quest objective. Some of you might have commented last episode about this, but I found out in between episodes by my own. I was looking at, hmm, this is not Turanius, this is Tralia. I just figured, you know, that's uh, just me being a dummy. Uh, I just figured that uh, that would be the, that would have been the, the last castle because there are nowhere, there's nowhere else for these guys uh, to, to go to. There is, of course. There's that place. There's the underground as well. I don't know if the underground is actually going to be um, what um, what is going to end up being uh, being uh, where where the the, uh, the the castle or terrain is or whatever is going to end up being. But today we're going to take on this castle over here and what we have. We have 51 royal griffins. Uh, also some what are these guys down here? Mm, one zealot dies. One zealot dies. Okay, what are these things? Gogs. Gogs. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so let's see. We have a champion over here. I press D to block or to defend. Actually, ooh, look at that. Oh, no. Ah. Hmm. Well, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Uh, I might be able to mm, teach you a lesson, mister. Let's see. That was luck. Or morale, actually. Mm, yeah, I lost a bunch. Okay. So let's see. Let's go with a spell over here and... Okay, bless. We have bless. Really nice. Maximum damage. Is it good for you, though? 10, 12, or 12, 2 to 3. Mm, I'm going to try and bring you down. That was 17 right there. No luck. No luck. Okay, so now you are ready, and that actually is really good, because I'm going to basically ensure that you deal maximum damage there, which means uh, roughly 400 damage done on a guy that's probably going to be 10 kills. 10 kills and 10 kills, because double attack, because of amazingness. Okay, let's bring you over there. How many do we have here? 35? Yeah, definitely less than they have. Uh, but then you'd expect that. Let's see if you get lucky right now. Please do. Nope, not really. And you don't either, but, uh, well, if you get killed, then whatever. Ooh, that guy got lucky. What is it? <laughs> just, just jumps all over. We lost another griffin, one zealot, another griffin right there. Uh, and that is okay. What are we gonna do now? We have this guy over here. Do you do... Mm, yeah, you're gonna be able to kill that guy with no problem. There we go, and I can move you. Uh, what's your damage range? Your damage range is enough that I will go with a blast for you, because that is three to six. That's, that's quite a lot of difference. Of course, it might be overkill. I still am not accustomed to. Ooh, wait a minute, haven't we killed everybody? Who's missing? What? Oh, there's a sneaky guy over there. Tough little guys. How many did did die? Oh, yeah, there's a lot of them over there. Didn't see that. Uh -huh. Okay, should be able to kill him. There we go. Okay, and Sanya is now a level 2 cleric. Hopefully she gained more because that was a pretty big battle. Um, advanced Eagle Eye, Basic Earth Magic. Let's go with Eagle Eye right there. Advanced Wisdom or Basic Scholar. First and second level spells, effectively the training spells between spell books. No, I'd rather, I'd rather go with this. No scholarship for you. Extended Wisdom. Learn fifth level spells or extra experience. Yeah, just go with that. Okay, good stuff. So yeah, my, my strategy is going to be to uh, specialize on the uh, skills that I have already uh, and then take on new skills just if I really, really want them. Um, just for the sake of having slots for them later on. Um, but yeah, we have a new city. Let's see what it is all about. We have over here stables, archers, monastery. They all upgrade their stuff, which is a bad idea, by the way. Uh, you guys have told me. Bumpy has told me as well. Uh, we should focus on... Let's go with monastery here because I love that. We should focus on uh, getting buildings that um, that produce first and then upgrade them second. Uh, okay, I think we'll be fine. We'll be all right. We might even be able to... Uh, actually, let me just get you in there proper. Uh, let's see. We might be... Who's, who needs upgrade? It's you, right? Who needs upgrade? Oh, we can't upgrade over here. That's right. Uh, okay, so in that case, I'm not going to bother buying anything. We're just going to go around and uh, learn things and all that sort of stuff. Just do good things. Basic tactics. Okay, whatever you say. See, that's that's the thing. We need we need to uh, use our opportunities to learn skills on the other, uh, on the places that we don't know what's gonna happen. Or I don't know anyway. So we have a few things over here. I don't have enough money. Well, I could have enough money if I sold all this stuff, but I would rather not because I think we'll be fine. I, th I I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. Let's just check this castle out. There's nobody back here, and you know what? You can get out of there, and you can get out of there as well. You're not doing anything over here. So she's gonna go down to this castle. Oh, wait a minute. I have five heroes? Hmm. 
So we ha she's level 5, she's level 4, he's level 6, she's level 6, and she's level 6. Okay, so she's gonna be staying behind. Unless... Mm, two clerics, eh. Well, I guess, I guess it's already decided, isn't it? I guess it's already decided. Okay, good enough. Good enough for right now. Uh, spend the day and spend the night in here, down here. I think our army over here is gonna be enough, but we'll see. I mean, so far it's it's been going pretty well, pretty pretty well, all things considered. Uh, okay, let's see. We got a, an ore mine over there. We have uh, a, st a spell power over here. Yeah, if you reach maximum level, then sure, whatever. Uh, let's see. Next, we have you coming back with reinforcements. Sure, sounds good. And we have a little bit more money to spend. Is it this town? Yes, it is. Uh, to spend over in here. Let's go with the Archer's Tower. Because ranged units, I prefer. Very, very easy to maneuver. Because they don't need positioning for you. It's just you go whatever you need to go. Wait a minute, you didn't, you didn't visit these things? Well, just visit that thing then. One spell power. Always good to have. Let's get you over there. And that is that. Hi! I think I'll be fine here. I think I'll be okay. Let's see. We have harpies. We have these, whatever, medusas or whatever. We have some more harpies. That harpy seems like a, to be an upgraded, yeah, harpy hag, whereas this one is just harpies. Uh, well, oh, they pluralize. Good. And these are indeed medusa queens, which are the worst kind of queens. Over there we have troglodytes that have spears and the beholders that have their eyes. Okay, so what can I do with you? Not much at this point. If I, I can try to go for the luck, but it's unlimited retaliations. Huh. Well, now I know. Okay, so for you, uh, you're gonna stay back here and defend. That harpy is moving. Okay, so I can't really shoot that guy. Let's see. I can. Well, that girl, I guess. I'm gonna go. What do I do here? Hypnotize. Does it work? Nah, of course not. That's interesting. Let's go with that. Just experiment. Oh! Okay, we lost one Royal Griffin. She got lucky, or morale, whatever. We lost another one. Not great. And we have the tropity, tropity, tropity of those horses. And that guy, what did he do? He just attacked on his own, by his own. Sounds good. Okay, let's get the beholders out of the way. Uh, and uh, let's get you moving, because we're going to need to kill that guy. I don't know how long that's going to take. Oh, no, wait a minute. The beholders attacked me. Oh, nice. They're killing each other. Fantastic. Okay, you're going to defend over there. And uh, we, can, we can attack you. Uh, let's go with that. And then you guard down there. That was a stupid move. We lost one marksman for no reason. But there we go. That's fine. And Serena can no gain, no longer gain more experience. She's now a uh, basic sorcery hero spell to inflict 5% damage in combat. No, I like buffs and stuff. I don't really like damage spells. Uh, even though they might be very, very good. But I, I, I like just playing around with the spells. So where are we going? There's no passage. There is a passage up there. Through there. Okay, next hero, what do we have? Uh, we have a water wheel over here and a hill fort. What's that for? Oh. For free? Up upgrades all the creatures? Really? This close to this town? So you can buy just the crappy ones? Uh, sh sh sure. It's amazing. <laughs> really. A great creek. It is. For free, isn't it? Oh my god. It's the best thing ever. It's really the best thing ever. Okay, so I'm gonna join you over here. And you guys are gonna switch pl switch places. Because I am gonna give you the crappy creatures that are not upgraded. Let's... No, that's over there. Yeah, and you over there. Okay, so you switch again. You're gonna be the one. Let's uh, buy the crappy ones. Because that thing is for free. I mean, not that we're gonna need it. The, you know, we're probably not gonna need this. But then again, you never know. It's, I mean, it's mighty magic. You spend the wool, uh, the, the wool, uh, well, here is mighty magic. You spend the wool, um, nice. Oh, we don't even have m enough money for that. Eh, ah, sure, it's okay. Uh, spend the wool map, thinking, oh, it's gonna be fine. I'm, I'm face rolling this, and then it turns out, in the end, that it has a terrible, terrible battle that will destroy your face and your soul at the same time. Okay, let's bring you down here. It's just gonna be here serving as a mayor. Sounds good. Uh, you are over there, you're over here, and you are gonna continue on our journey. I'm gonna continue getting more... Uh, I can't because I spent all my money. Okay, that's fantastic. Not really. We have another friend. A very easy friend. 
Okay, we have six Medusas. Yeah, they're, they're throwing their last at us. This might actually be the way to finish the map. Let's let's be crazy over here. Yeah, that's what I'm I was counting on. Okay. Fantastic. And if I'm lucky. No, no luck. Uh let's see if I can get you out of the way. And that guy over there, you're gonna defend. Oh, he didn't attack. There we go. Fantastic. And I know she can't get anything else. Just keep going. This seems to be a circle. Unless there's a portal, it's gonna be a huge amount of trouble getting down here. What is that? Altar of Sacrifice. Sure. And over here, we have a subterranean gate. She could... She should, actually. She should go down there. Okay. Uh, yeah, let, let them run away, because I don't need the experience. Uh, so we are up here. Oh, there's two entrances there. Then. Okay. That's really great. Uh, let's go over there. Nice. What is that over there? Not visited. Windmill. That's for money, right? Yeah, for things. Uh, also, what is that? Garden of Knowledge. Sure, go for it. Um, oh, it's quite beautiful, actually. Um, there we go. And now, let's upgrade you. Do I have money? Yes, I do. Uh, upgrade stables. There we go. Not upgrade stables. Actually, get the stables for once. Fantastic. Okay. Nobody seems to be coming this way. Let's take care of you first. I'm gonna send you up there. With all these troops, upgrade everything for free. It's incredible! It's absolutely bonkers. It is, right? I'm not crazy. So, oh yeah, I'm approaching from the north. And then go down here. Yeah, this seems like a big maze-like place. Uh, so I'm thinking that's gonna connect, so I'm just gonna let the fog of war or the lack thereof uh, take care of that particular little bit of uh, business over there. I don't think they're gonna be coming coming too soon anyway, because, I mean, we've we have pretty much destroyed them. Uh, hopefully, anyway. Uh, training grounds, sure. Chevaliers, there we go. And that was for the last day of the week as well. One ogre growth, oh, plus five ogre growth, because it is the week of the growth, or the, of the growth, of the of the ogre, of the gross. It's the week of the gross. Let's go, let's go. What do we have over here? Mm, mountains, craters, a bunch of other beautiful stuff. It really is nice, the, uh, the, um, the pixel art. Okay, let's get you through here. We have more guys that are probably going to run away because this is my main army. I, they wanted to join me. No, you shall not. I probably should have said, but it's... Hmm. I'm sure it's not. I'm, I'm sure it's an easy mistake to make. Okay, so you go... Over, no, actually, you switch that. Uh, and... Uh, hmm. No. How do I do this? Uh, so what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to hire... If I have the money, and I should, hire all the crappy creatures. And I'm not saying that... <laughs> All the lower tier creatures, I should say. Uh, there we go. Uh, that's the lower tier already. And over here we have six more. I can hire four. Okay. And that means I can switch them. Right. Like so. And then I can use him to upgrade for free. That's incredible. That's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. And I don't have enough money for the rest. Okay. Sounds good. Just getting all of this stuff. Yeah, I control that now. Let's bring you up here. See, yeah, this the the city of Tyrannius or whatever is probably the t the town or I guess or city or whatever is probably gonna be down here. We have two approaches and there's another place. We have two approaches to the underground. There's another place upstairs that I really want to explore, which is over there. That could be it. Or does it cost money? No, I can't unupgrade them, so it doesn't, right? It doesn't cost money. Huh. Okay, so you go down there. Uh, and you merge with all that. Fantastic. And now you are going to take all of your beautiful n repertoire and knowledge of, uh, of war with you. So we got a few upgrades over here. There's no need to buy them. So let's just keep them over there. And uh, let's keep this short. Make sure. Oh, yeah. Make sure. Actually, I'm going to bring you out of here. I'm going to send you up there as a backup. As a backup. So let's send you over here. There we go. Okay, so, next. Send her over here, and what do we have? We have gems. Hmm. Gem pond. Sure. Because that's how it works. <laughs> We're not really sure that is how it works. I think that gems are mined. Could be wrong. What do we have over there? A skull. Okay, okay, we have a throng of wolf riders. They wish to... Join. Sure. Let's take them on. I mean, if I could get them all, that could be a good thing. 
Uh, okay, let's go this way. I think that little plus that you saw over there, you might have seen it. I, I think, yeah, I can get the, the plus one level. Oh. What are those? Lots of stone gargoyles. I'm thinking that's a bad idea. So let's just hang back here and let you uh, reinforce people. Do you need not being visi visited? So let's get that. Might as well get the money or the gems or whatever. Now let's switch. Yeah, with that. Okay. Uh, okay, continuing. Yes, I know how things go. You're gonna go over there. I wonder if it, this is like in later games where if you give troops away, they're gonna lose... Um, the hero effectively loses action points. Because it makes sense that that is the case. Otherwise, you could transport troops very, very quickly by just having a bunch of heroes. Uh, but then again, that, that would also be a pain in the buttocks. Okay, so I think... Maybe this is gonna be enough. It is a strong army. Oh, it's not like in the later games. Also, probably because the troops themselves can't move without a hero, so there we go. Uh, the Stone Gargoyles want to join! Oh no. Did I... what happened? Okay, are these guys ranged? I'm thinking no. Because now I'm seeing the shots number, so maybe they are not ranged. So I'm just gonna defend back here with everybody. Oh yeah, they don't seem to be ranged. So they are 16 health. That's pretty good. I think I'm gonna be able to kill it. There we go. And uh, that is over there. I'm gonna go. No, I'm not gonna lose my spell power. And I got fantastic. There we go. 720 experience that cannot be gained. And I think we're good. Let's get no. First, let's get the gems. And what is that? That's a university. That's where you learn skills, I believe. I don't remember this place. Ooh. Your hero's footsteps echo through the quiet halls of this ancient university. A clerk informs you that while here, your hero may receive instructions on the following subjects. Hmm. Mm -mm. Thank you very much, but no. I would rather probably not, actually. Um, that's interesting. But not for him, because he's got a lot of skills already, so I, I'd rather that didn't happen. We got a ring over here that allows us to learn attack. Uh, and she's gonna need, she's, yeah, she's gonna check that thing out. And you're gonna continue down here, must not forget about you guys. Because this is probably our main battlefront over here, is, is the underground at this point. Did I get that? Red by, by the red player, so, yeah, I did. Okay, I think they're not really moving too much. Oh, wait, 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 there we go. Once per day, get another one, one per day, that's good. So, you have that already, let's see, we got the Griffin Observatory, which will allow me, hopefully, to get a few more griffins. Uh, let's uh, just continue. Yeah, I think we're reaching the end of this particular map. And it's about time. Pillar of Fire. Hmm. You discover a tall ga gaslight tower. You light it, which produces enough light to penetrate the subterranean darkness. And it reveals the wall map. Not the wall map, just around here. What is this called? Terranius. And it has very, very few big things in it. Huh. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna regroup over here. So I'm gonna pick up Sanya. And I'm gonna regroup. Can I? Yes, I can. And uh, that's gonna be how I'm gonna proceed with this situ situation over here. I'm just gonna attack it right away. There's no point to do anything else. I mean, there's a little bit of things over here. What is that? Uncharted territory. Mushrooms. Yeah, it's probably just more things. Nothing that I really, really want. But I can still get visions and all this sort of things. We have harpy hags around down there that I really don't care for. Uh, Font Fountain of Fortune. What is it for? It just gives me luck. Oh, and we have all these things as well over here, but I don't think I, ca I carry the artifacts with me. So let's find out if we do. Let's see. Library of Enlightenment. Yeah, you're gonna want that. Wanna go there. Uh, and let's see what you can learn. Mysticism Estates. Uh, that's good. Scholar. That's probably good as well. And there we go. Uh, and then you're gonna check that out as well, because you can gain defense. And what is that up there? Plus defense once per hero. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay, let's just focus on these guys before I forget. What is that thing over there? It's an artifact. Okay. And over there, mm, let's get you to get that. The caretaker opens the door and looks at you up and down. You are neither famous nor diplomatic enough to be admitted to the Library of Enlightenment, he sniffs. Come back when you think yourself worthy. Okay, I think that guy's gonna run away. Uh... They want to join, sure. Oh, harpies, sure. Uh, in over there, get that. I can't get experience, so it doesn't really matter. Cards of, of Prophecy, what is that all about? 
Cards of Prophecy, plus one luck. Hmm. That's pretty good. Uh, let's get that. Because I don't need the other ones. And I think these guys are going to be done. Did you come up over here? Yeah, visited. So let's see if she is worthy. No, she's not. Hmm. Okay, she's maximum level as well. Okay, so that's that. Let's bring these girls all together. And uh, who shall I attack with? I'm going to attack with Serena. It's going to be how I'm going to do it. So switch with that and get all the troops that you can get. Oh, no, wait a minute. That's not how it goes. So this goes over there. And that goes over here. We got a bunch of these. And yeah, you're going to keep... Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, we're going to we're going to have a good decent army. So I think all things considered, we're in a good situation here and we're going to attack. Let's go. Simple, very very easy. Wasn't expecting anything too much. These guys are very starved of uh, of resources anyway. I'm losing a few zealots over there. They know what is the biggest danger here. I can send you up there uh, for infinite retaliation. It's going to be kills. Oh, no, that one doesn't get retaliation because he runs away. Defend with you. Kill that thing over there. Mm, didn't. Short defend. Medusa attacks for six royal griffins dead. Okay, now I'm... Can I press S? No. Uh, I was trying to uh, see if I can access my spell uh, my uh, spell book. But I don't know what the, the key is. We got force field over there. Do you have the one I like? Mm, the fortune is nice. The magical energies or more than... Plastic. Oh, the ground is cursed. Can't use magic. Sure. Why not? It's another two zealous gone. Another one gone. Uh, cat catapult attacking. Now you can go over there and murder those. Yeah, there we go. No retaliation on those, unfortunately. Uh, but then again, it doesn't really matter because they're dead. Wasn't too much experience, but we are victorious. Ten has been vanished. Congratulations, you captured Turanius. You are victorious. That's the word I used. Well, actually, that's the word the game gave me. Um, so, I need to say... What? Huh? Excuse me? <laughs> the game is telling me to save. I mean, I can't... Sure. Zero, zero... No, 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 those. Zero, zero, one. Okay. Our landing has... Uh, so, that's the campaign description. Scenario. To win, you must capture all enemy towns and castles and defeat all enemy heroes. Your heroes will be limited to 12th level in a scenario, but your 8 strongest heroes will travel with you to the final scenario of this campaign. So, there are three scenarios in this campaign. That's, that's good to know. This one is over there. Um, and uh, I need to choose a bonus. Now, I know a little bit better. Actually, the scenario is going to go a lot a lot faster because... Just because I... Uh, you, you could see from the last... Uh, from the this last episode, at least, that I was uh, getting a... A little bit more comfortable with the pressing H to switch between heroes and all that sort of stuff. Let's see, we have one angel. Don't really need that, I don't think. Uh, but then again, an angel might be really good. What is that thing over there? Start with a scroll of prayer. I would like to know what a scroll of prayer is. But, uh, sure, I'm gonna go... Mm, I don't really want that. Th that might be amazing, but I'm gonna go with this. The angel, because this is gonna be amazing. I'm thinking that we're gonna be fighting very small battles. So, come in micromanagement, I guess. Pressing toward Arathia's capital of Stedwick, we have encountered peasants talking of Fairfeather, a town to the north. Though surrounded, it has withstood the Nyon invasion. Reports are unconfirmed, but these peasants believe angels watch over the town. Angels have been spotted in Arathia before. During the Cregan infestation, scattered reports told of winged beings massacring large Cregan forces. Either the angels have returned, or they never left. How long Fairfeather can last against the Nyon and Cregan onslaught is unknown. If Fairfeather falls, a potential ally may be lost. Let's not let it fall then. We must reach Fairfeather before the Nyon and Eol forces. If we can show our support, then we should be able to convince the angels to help us in reclaiming Arathia. We must secure this area before we can move on to Stedwick. Okay. So, we brought the heroes I wanted. There it is. Uh, so we have Christian. Oh, first. Oh, yeah, okay. So we don't bring artifacts, so it's all about the experience in between campaigns. Good to know. Um, yeah, everything is good. Everything is perfect. So let's see. We have Christian over there. We have Serena down here. Treasure chests that are. I'm going to focus on gold all the time, but we don't have a town. So let's look at what armies we have. A few. A few. 
Uh, she has... Oh, she brings those. Hmm. So, let's get her to... I don't really know. What are these things? Campfire. What's that for? Well, let's learn. Oh. To gain things. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, let's get... So, Christian, do I like him? Let's see how who I like the most over here in terms of just attack. She's pretty awesome, actually. Look at that. Uh, yeah, Christian is not very well leveled. He does have a bunch of spell points, even for a knight. Especially for a knight, I guess. And she's she's a knight as well, but she's better. So, I'm gonna use her to... Mm, what should I do here? What should I do here? So, a pack of RP hags, they... Mm, what should I do? So, do I want to come this way? Is that what I want to do? Okay, let's get let's get first. Let's just you do a sweeping sweeping run and end down there. I think that's gonna be mm. okay. Let's see what I do here. I'm gonna get this gold, and I'm gonna get a mystic orb of mana. After scouring the area, fall upon a hidden chest. Okay, so she gets plus three spell points per day. That's okay. Uh. And uh, I'm gonna get you. There's angels over there. Mm. Okay, so yeah, my idea is to get her up here and do a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, hurting. So let's get her over there and let's see. So that is you. I'm just gonna give. Oh, Sylvia has studied magic extensively. Extensively teaches quicksand to Caitlyn. Yeah, because of the the skills that she has. Okay, so that is gonna be sweet. No, no, no. That's good. That's, that's no, no, no. It's perfect. Okay, you switch to over there, just one, so I can give uh, the troops over. And that that is that. So Serena... No, not Serena. You can now continue looking around and getting gold. So hopefully, that's that's going to be how I'm going to focus on, on the heroes. Fountain of Youth plus one morale until next battle and extra movement for one day. Sounds good, can you go there today? Yep, that's always nice. Okay, so we have that over there. Let's just focus on this. We have another he mm, enemy. Okay. Let's uh, fall back then. Well, if, as long as they're not actual enemies and they're just neutrals, we should be okay. So, get the money. Over there, we have Christian over here. Let's just give him the troops. Not really, because there's no, not a real, really a whole lot of troops. So, let's just bring Christian up there. And uh, I gained a bunch of stuff. And let's just give him, give her... I mean, as many troops as I can, which is not many. But then again, I believe this scenario is more about min-maxing than anything else. So let's see what happens over here. We have, not grass, we have lots of harpies. Okay. Hmm. Let's see what happens. So we got one angel over here. Does the angel, can he cast spells? I think some creatures can cast spells. But how do I do that? Uh, what is spell fire? Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. It, maybe it's in later games. So I'm gonna. So these things do four. Da let's pretend that they do four damage. So that's a hundred damage at most. Okay. So I'm totally fine with just going on in. Good. Uh, and that thing it has a pretty serious speed. So I'm gonna f go over here. And it's a re. Mm, nice. Very nice. So I think I think we'll be fine. It's not a big deal. Uh, I'm not even gonna cast a spell there. Got lucky though. Let's go with another one hit. There we go. And I think we are going to be able to kill these. Uh, that's 14 health. Plus, so that, yeah, that's going to... Mm, yeah. 50 damage. Not really. Yeah, but they're not doing any damage to him. So, the defense is working in my advantage. Because I believe that's how it works. Okay, so you guys are gonna, just going to defend. And that's a kill. There we go. The angel is really powerful. And I... Yeah. Red, you have lost your last town. If you do not conquer another town in the next week, you will be eliminated. Well, thank you very much for, for, for telling me that. I knew that. But whatever. Uh, it's all fine. So, Christian, you are going to check out what we have. Artifacts. Okay. So, you're going to check out these Necklace of Swiftness. Okay. So, what is that? Why didn't you get that? You didn't get that? Am I crazy? Oh, it's over there. Um, plus speed to all combat units, or plus combat speed to all units. Got a little more over there, and another artifact over here. The Black Shard of the Dead Knight. The widow of a former captain of the guard admires your quest and gives you the enchanted sword that her husband relied on during his tour of duty. Ta-ding! And it is plus three attack. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so I'm going to send her over that way, and uh, we're going to try and uh, worry about this side 
next, um, or later, I should say. But for right now, we're out of time, so I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Heroes of Might and Magic 3. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later, but above all, as always, thank you so much for watching and for all the support, and I hope to see you next episode. Bye-bye!